So you can see all the way across here. This is brand new. That was ravaged by a stone, rather big stone. And the chain is like that all the way across. I'm going to take these down using a gauge, and I'm going to take these down using a gauge to a, basically the appropriate height based on the actual tooth. Not the fact that they're even. And I will show you guys how this cuts in wood to see if it's actually worth saving a chain this bad. Okay, so, we got done with the rakers. You can see a distinct difference. You can see a distinct difference in that raker and that raker. And this carries on true because the whole other side of the chain got swiped. Just a little bit off the tip. And quite a bit. A little bit off the tip. And a lot. So we're going to see how this actually performs in wood to disprove the theory that you need to count your strokes and that the teeth have to be the same size. Because as you can see, clean that up a little bit. They are clearly not the same size. This, uh, In this, uh, it's about half. It's about halfway filed back, and I was, I was just gonna pitch this chain because it's gonna take just time, which time is money, kind of. I mean, that's that's crazy. So we're gonna see how they do in comparison. The 20-inch bar. It's actually. Uh, O29 Super I bought off of a client when I was doing the tree job at their house. He asked me what I thought about this old saw. It was getting hard for him to pull start. I mean, this is, it's dirty now, but like, this thing's crazy clean. So, we'll see how it does in wood. I'll bury it 20 inches deep and we'll go from there.
so that proves to everybody who says different that the teeth don't need to be the same length to cut straight. And that was actually more than 20 inches, so it was full bar. So at the end of the day, basically, you're going to get arguments either way. Um, I've shown so many people this that I work with, other tree guys, and that first say the same thing as junk, throw it away. And um, just try it. Just try it for yourself. Uh, it's just pure science, and um, it's how things work. These chains are set up to take a specific amount of wood off. They are specifically meant to take a, about that much off. And for those who want to get technical, let's see here. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, so it's just a hair. I'm not even holding this down all the way. Hair bigger than 0 0.25. Okay, so that's that. But just give it a try. Um, you know, it's how the chains were supposed to pull wood. You know, it's how they cut through and don't get too grabby. And at the same time, uh, if you're really on point with your raker game, you can just constantly, you don't ever have to force your saw through. And there's a lot of other things that makes chainsaws cut crooked. I know, a thousand. Now, people's bars, it's, some are, be, I just throw them away because it's just cooked. There's a ditch bigger than the Grand Canyon in that thing. But, um, for instance, this bar, let's see if I can flip you around. This bar right here, I mean, this is, that's an old bar. You can see it's, 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 a few years old well maybe maybe two years old but anyway look at that I mean there we go it's it's all you gotta do guys is keep up with it every so often even at the tip here you know it's you know and this you could see this bar has been used this isn't a new bar um, but if if every at the end of every week you go through you take your, your chains and chainsaws off. You run something through here to clean this out. You take your bars and chains off, rather. Clean this out. Keep it clean. You know, keep your oiler clean. You, your chainsaw is going to cut straight. If your rakers, depth, gauge, depth gauges, whatever you want to call them, if they're set up properly, it will cut straight. Uh, unless you're the oddball that gets the... I have a broken mount on one side of my saw, but let's just be honest, that's not reality. That's, that's not what happens all the time. What happens all the time is that I smashed one of my teeth, and now it doesn't cut straight. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoy this video, controversial as it may be. Let me know what you think, and uh, share your experience with the matter.